Uh, I think digitization will happen. I don't expect it to happen on the 31st March. I think there will be a delay. But it will, it will happen in the long run. I don't want to make an estimate of how long it's going to take. Challenges will be there if you look at lessons from digitization phase one. The availability of set-top boxes, um, awareness levels amongst the consumers. Both of these will be even larger in digitization phase two. Yeah, and the level of investments, I mean, you're looking at targeting 38 cities. It is not a small task under any circumstances. So, um, you know, there, there, there will be challenges. And that is why it is going to take longer. Um, okay, my take on that is I don't think that the government has um, really paid attention to what a large role the media industry and the broadcasting industry, per se, plays in the development of, uh, you know, the economy. And uh, there were a lot of demands made by the media industry, particularly one of actually declaring uh, you know, the whole broadcast setup, the technical side as an infrastructure industry, which I don't think has been, uh, you know, uh, sort of paid any heed to at all. So I'm quite disappointed by the uh, by the fact that they've. Uh, it will it will impact for any imports, but I guess the objective is to promote indigenization and therefore promote manufacturing industry in any case, which has been one of the larger objectives of the government. It cannot happen in 30 days, right? So there will be a shorter term impact. Suddenly you're not going to have start manufacturing units that will come up with set of boxes, right? And that is why any time when the government hikes up imports duties, the objective is to uh, promote the domestic manufacturing industry, which in any case, as I said, has been the objective of the government, which is a good objective to achieve. But yes, in the short run, it will have an impact on the import costs.